Hey everyone, this is Gleb Bakhmutov. Today Cypress announced a new major version uh, release, V15, where they have one big feature, which is an upgrade to the studio. It still is experimental, but they say it's a foundation for AI studio. All right, why don't we check it out? Uh, there is a blog post. So apparently now, you can click on the studio icon and it opens a little editor where all the commands that the studio suggests are editable and they're smart and allow you to set assertions and so on. And even Cypress AI is coming right there. Why don't we evaluate the new studio? I have a project right here. I set the experimental studio to true. Uh, the project is just to do MVC. I'm resetting the to-do, so we start with nothing. And uh, the name of the task is hides the not to dos message on the to-dos. From the terminal, I'm gonna call npm run dev, which starts the app and opens Cypress. And uh, our app is running at localhost 3000. This is v15 and to end task, add to-dos. And right now you see the no to do's message right here. And if I add a to do, then that message appears, it becomes invisible. So let's test this. Because experimental studio is set to true in the config file, this button appears, edit in studio. And notice it just shows the current content, uh, content contents of the test reset request and visiting and we can uh, say uh, right click on this well i don't want to check the paragraph element i want to check this element and i'm gonna say should be visible and it correctly gets the element with class no to do's and says should be visible i can save this it saves the file correctly that's great now notice it adds a semicolon, which if I save it in VS Code, my previous settings removes, but no big deal. Back right here, why don't we add a to-do, let's say one and maybe two. Okay, uh, it does a bunch of weird things now. Notice uh, it cleared the new to-do input box, then it typed one, then cleared it again, typed one followed by enter, cleared it, type two, clear it, and then typed using two enter. Not ideal, uh, I would have to clean it up. Uh, maybe I'll do something like this. Um, and now I need to confirm, but maybe I have two items, okay? Well, if I right click on this element, uh, I can say should be visible or, well, I cannot select multiple elements. This is something that I complained about Studio from the very beginning. It doesn't understand grabbing multiple to-dos. If I just say this input element, well, it grabs the data to-do ID, which is one of the attributes and it's not the most important attribute. If I open the dev tools and look at the elements and the markup, it probably should just grab li with class to-do. Instead, it grabs the label and says should be visible and it uses very specific, unique test ID, which will completely not work anytime the to-dos are reset and new ones are created. Um, okay, let, let's go back to our uh, no to-dos message. Uh, let's say I save it. Okay, notice it fails because the to-do ID is different. But what I want to confirm is that once we enter two to-dos that this no to-dos is no longer visible. It used to be visible in the beginning where we had zero to-dos and it's no longer there. And because it's no longer there, well, guess what? I cannot select it on a page, I cannot confirm it. So the best thing would be to grab it, copy and add not be visible and save it and now we confirm. So. Bunch of operations, had to look up the markup a little bit, had to make sure I don't select the elements I don't need, had to clean up uh, whatever was generated. And the question is, would I be recording tests using this approach? Even simple tests. 
if you follow my videos and especially if you went through my you know github copilot plus cypress or cursor plus cypress courses you know that i'm okay with using ai tools and i use them myself but i don't use them like that i, I don't rely on just giving them a task with you no know, context and allowing them to do and I feel like this approach with Studio right now is pretty much relying on point and click and has no idea of the right context. It doesn't get the right selectors. I'm really unimpressed right now. So let's stop this nonsense. And the way I would write this test is to move, uh, let's say Cypress on one screen. In this case, I'll move it to the left and I'm gonna move the code editor to the right and the way I'll do this task and implement it instead of a studio I'll just give comments explaining what I want to do with concrete test selectors or element selectors and concrete instructions so I'll say confirm no to do's is visible now this is the first element and um, before we allow it to generate I'll say not visible and in between I'll say add to to do's and maybe I'll even say write code and write test using element uh, thing new to do. Okay, with class. Now notice what Copilot does, right? I'm using Copilot uh, suggestions and it exactly generates a pretty good Cypress. The suggestion is spot on. And it's spot on because it's trained across the internet and the syntax now is pretty standard. It's been standard for many years. And by giving specific selectors like class no to do's, class new to do, it precisely uses those instructions when it suggests Cypress command. So I'll say yes, I'll click save and the test is passing. Not only this is fast, and much faster than trying to kind of work from the page using the experimental studio. I think this has potential to be correct. And I have no idea how Cypress um, AI would fix that if it has no context of what my application is supposed to do. And by just inspecting the DOM, I don't think it can guess yet what the right outcome should be, especially if my page is not implementing correctly yet. So yeah, Cypress v15, you know, big release, eh, experimental studio. Okay, um, let's wait for a couple more major versions and then maybe it will become something interesting.